President Petro Poroshenko in Kiev Russia's tonight. Russia's weekend maritime clash words, with Ukraine illustrated the vast military imbalance between Russia. the neighbors. We fight for our democracy. No and fewer than 11 Russian soul. vessels Russia surrounded will pay Ukraine's two light military ships and one tugboat, Poroshenko says ramming them this before eventually opening fire on Sunday. The opening shots of a new campaign. Petro when last Poroshenko Sunday, told Russian NBC ships News. rammed and seized Poroshenko three Ukrainian vessels country is and under their extremely crew. serious in threat of a land invasion. Russian forces took and that's over why he had Crimea. to declare martial law for 30 days in regions of the adjacent same thing, to Russia. Instead of taking land, the Gulf they're trying to take The military might was further right. driven home when so Russia announced Wednesday it would deploy Russia. another of its S-400 surface-to-air missile systems to Crimea. The peninsula is says Ukrainian sailors entered Russian territorial waters despite warnings. After Sunday's clash, Poroshenko imposed martial law in areas along the Russian border to protect and has a range of 250 President miles. Trump is expected to meet with the Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit, which is coming According up very soon. According to Poroshenko, what Russia also tripled like the number Trump of tanks at a base near the Ukrainian Please. border from September to October. We are now strengthening our Richard defense Engel, on all NBC the borders News, with Russia, Kiev. Poroshenko told NBC News Richard Engel on Tuesday. The U.S. currently has around 200 soldiers stationed as advisors in Ukraine. Ukraine says that Russia is attempting to take control of the Sea of Azov. The annexation of Crimea gave it control of the Azov's only entrance, the Kerch Strait, choking access to Ukraine's own ports. In May, Russia opened a $3.69 billion bridge across the strait, and Ukraine says Sunday's clashes were evidence the Kremlin is further tightening its grip. Kiev is concerned about how to protect a 180-mile stretch between Crimea and the eastern part of Ukraine that's already run by Russian-backed separatists. Most of Ukraine's navy was based in Crimea when it was annexed, meaning the military lost around 80% of its fleet to capture or defections. Russian President Vladimir Putin has offered to give the vessels back, although he described what is left as being a wreck. Since 2014, Fighting in eastern Ukraine has claimed more than 10,000 lives. In 2015, the rebels briefly stormed the port city of Mariupol. Poroshenko says he believes they might try again. I have a document of intelligence in my hands, he said Monday, explaining his decision to impose martial law. He said the files contained a detailed description of all the forces of the enemy located at a distance of literally several dozens of kilometers from our border, ready at any moment for an immediate invasion of Ukraine. Some experts are skeptical. It is very unlikely that the rebels would attempt to mount a land assault and try to push the boundaries of the conflict further into Ukraine, says Emily Ferris, a research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute for Defense and Security Studies, a London think tank. Ferris points out that if anything Moscow has been attempting to politically disengage from the conflict in the east of the country, with its domestic media focusing on the country's role in Syria. In December 2017, Moscow withdrew from an organization that oversees the often violated ceasefire in Ukraine, likely an attempt to persuade Ukraine to deal directly with separatists, Ferris added. We would have to consider what Russia could gain from this, she said referring to a land assault. Some fear the Ukrainian president is using the crisis to weaken democracy as he trails badly in the polls ahead of an election in March. However, given the disparity between Ukraine's forces and Putin's military next door, many are alarmed by the prospect of conflict between the former members of the Soviet Union. I. Horkabanenko, a retired admiral with the Ukrainian Navy, has for months been predicting a flare-up along the lines of the Sunday's incident. In August, he told NBC News that Moscow will use Ukrainian maritime vulnerability and its own maritime supremacy at the Sea of Azov to achieve this goal. In September, the United States gave Ukraine two island-class patrol boats, outdated vessels built for the U.S. Coast Guard in the 1980s and 1990s. These will form part of a new so-called Mosquito fleet of light vessels that Ukraine is trying to assemble. But it is no match for Russia, whose Black Sea fleet is stationed in Crimea and has received a large number of new ships and submarines since 2014, according to the War on the Rocks website. Yeah.